Ramen fans rejoice. In Somerville's Davis Square, Suramen is the real deal. No instant noodles here. All this starchy goodness is made from scratch. The gaps in the metal there create the kind of noodles as they get cut. We focus on the people who make our food and how they make it. That's what makes the ramen noodles very special. Surumen is named after chef Masuo Onishi's hometown. Surumi, Japan is a subdivision of Yokohama, a famous port city. When I was little, we always had dinner at home. When we went out to eat for the first time, we had ramen. It was a treat for me, so I have a very nice, warm feeling about ramen. Chef Onishi opened his first ramen restaurant in Osaka. He says that in Japan, ramen is not viewed as a grocery store fast food. Instead, it's enjoyed while out and about. You only really enjoy it when it's freshly cooked. Other food you can take home and eat, but not ramen. It should be cooked in front of you so you know it's fresh and you know it's hot. That's why people are drawn to it and why they make a line to get a bowl of ramen. Lines form here, too. Surumen opened in 2018, enticing customers to feast on these hearty bowls. They're often served with creamy chicken broth and toppings, including pork, scallions, bean sprouts, bamboo shoots, and egg. I believe that good tasting food makes people happy. So I'd like to grow the business and spread happiness throughout the world. Happiness also comes in the shape of an American comfort food classic, chicken pot pie. At Pie Me Over in Wilmington, Marjorie Hammond says her pies stand out for a reason. I like the fact that our pies are not like thickened with cornstarch. We do more like a roux and not being overly salty too. That's one of my pet peeves. Hammond and Feliciano Savilango are co-owners and life partners. We met over 15 years ago. We actually met at a, like a dance. A romance that began in Randolph later stirred up a business idea. Turns out Hammond used to be a personal chef. When I got out of college, I just took to cooking. I don't know what it is. I would read cookbooks like they were novels. Savi Lango, who's from Angola, Africa, was a machine operator who loved to cook. I know how to cook it, but I never cook it. Professional. I started doing some gourmet style chicken pot pies just to friends and family on the side of my personal chef business. The couple moved to Vegas and sold their pies, but they missed the East Coast, where pot pies are a year-round staple. It's a great thing to have in your freezer when you don't feel like cooking, but we wanted to kick it up a notch. They did. Specialty crusts are made with habanero, cheddar, and garlic. There are veggie-friendly options, too. Broccoli veggie, cauliflower veggie, and curry veggie. Hammond and Savilengo do it all themselves, working hard to pie people over too many hours. Probably we only live here nine to ten hours. We definitely eat our own pies, that's for sure, because I still love them, believe it or not. Hungry yet? Suruman Davis just celebrated its 600th day anniversary. A fun note about our shoot, Chef Onishi's translator couldn't participate in the shoot because of unforeseen circumstances. Uh, luckily, our photographer, George Rodriguez, his wife, Ms., is from Japan. Producer Sangeeta Chandra did the interview with Chef while Ms. translated via speaker phone. Phone, that is. Food is on my mind. Coming up, a step up from boiled dinner.